So many of our biggest problems have already been solved. Housing, healthcare, energy are not intractable. In fact, the technology exists to solve these problems, but those technologies have to get over regulatory barriers in order to get into people's hands. Because the law is static. It only changes when you make it change. Technology, on the other hand, is changing every day. It's dynamic. If you can take the law and help it catch up with where technology is, you can unleash some tremendous innovation that changes people's lives. I'm Sal Churi. I am the founder of Trust Ventures, a venture capital fund that helps companies cut through the red tape so they can unlock the biggest markets in the economy. And this all sounds good, right? But what does it actually look like in practice? Let me show you. This is Stand Together Presents. Stories, ideas, and advice from changemakers tackling our biggest challenges. This is the house. We printed this house in eight days in the middle of like torrential rainstorms. We are at an Icon house. Icon is a company that can 3D print a home. That robotic arm 3D prints the layers one at a time. And in just 24 hours, they can put up the core structure of a house like this one. They can do it at a fraction of the cost of a traditional stick built house. Housing is actually the, the biggest industry in the world. It's the most expensive thing you're ever gonna own. And you have to have one as a human to survive. You need food, water, and shelter. 1.2 billion people are under sheltered in the world. Here's the challenge that we have. There's a lot of pent up demand on like potential solutions. It's just that, hey, we've always done it this way, kind of red tape, that is very problematic for us. We have built houses the same way for literally a thousand years, sticks and bricks. It shouldn't surprise us that the regulations surrounding construction are archaic. Nothing about our housing code was built to anticipate robots squirting concrete that can put up a house in 24 hours. Everyone wants to solve this problem. Everyone's interests are aligned. So it's a question of how do we work together to make that happen? That's right. The law freezes a current way of doing things in a block of ice. You've got to melt that block of ice if you want to get these tremendous technologies into people's hands. We help them get the first permit for a 3D printed house in America and then overcome the code barriers that they needed to overcome in order to pave the way for scale. And they're building affordable houses by the hundreds. This is a company that at scale can literally lower the cost of housing for billions of people. Startup companies are this unique tool to help show consumers what they're missing, to help those laws catch up to technology. But it's not just that policy is too slow to keep up with technology. Sometimes there are forces in the economy that are actively trying to prevent change. A great example is a company called Visibly. They created a simple online eye exam that you can take from your own home in just a few minutes. Now, it turns out there's about a two and a half billion people worldwide that need an eye exam and can't get one. When Visibly released its technology, the lobby group for the optometrists got scared and they went state to state trying to ban this technology. Now, luckily, we partnered with Visibly and helped them remove a lot of that legislation and recently visibly got the first ever FDA clearance for an online eye exam, opening up safe, easy, effective eye care to hundreds of millions of Americans. That's a win for consumers, that's a win for technology, and that's a win for innovation. People perceive the role of regulation as keeping us safe, but there is a lot of risk in not innovating. Think of the energy crisis. Nuclear power is the most energy-dense, clean source of energy on planet Earth. And yet we haven't found a way to bring it into the future. If you look at the way that we've regulated nuclear reactors, we've still got the same reactors operating that we've had for 60 years. No one's gonna say we should just deregulate nuclear material, but is there a way we can deliver clean, affordable, and abundant energy without sacrificing safety? Enter Oklo. Oklo has designed a new type of nuclear reactor that can't melt down. It puts out power cheaper than natural gas, but cleaner than solar. And most importantly, they're gonna factory manufacture these modular reactors to produce the cheapest, cleanest, safest, and most effective and scalable source of clean energy the world has ever seen. Even though the technology has progressed, we haven't been able to get them to market. The final domino is getting through the Nuclear Regulatory Commission's approval process to become the first licensed nuclear reactor of its kind. And that's what we need to open up one of the most entrenched industries in the economy and address the need for clean, safe energy for billions of people. Startup companies can be some of the most powerful vehicles to create social change. These companies represent a new way to change outdated policies 
rather than top down. They're just building a better future and putting it into people's hands. In my view, that's the best way to bring an old system into the modern era. We have to keep innovating. That innovation makes us safer, enriches our lives, and improves our quality of life. And so it's absolutely imperative that we open up those barriers because if you can bring those laws into line with where the technology is, the bleeding edge of technology, you can solve some of society's biggest problems. You can change the world. Stand Together partners with changemakers tackling our biggest challenges. To see more stories, follow our channels. And to learn more about how you can partner with us, go to standtogether.org.